Greetings to you all. Today, we celebrate a landmark achievement in the history of our university and in the lives of graduating students. We are excited to welcome you to the historic first ever graduation ceremony of UNICAF University Zambia. Because of measures enforced to contain COVID-19, we had to resort to a virtual graduation ceremony. We have to observe the Minister of Health guidelines to ensure that we keep each other safe. We want to thank the graduates, their parents, their family and friends who join us today from all over the world to watch either online or on TV the celebration of this auspicious occasion. From the amphitheater of the state of the art UNICAF University Zambia campus here in Lusaka, we bring to you the first graduation ceremony of our university. Let the proceedings begin with the chancellor's procession. Leading the, profession, the procession is the vice chancellor of the university of UNICAF University Zambia, Dr. Mushiwe. Then we have our deputy vice chancellor, Dr. Msonda. Then we have our guest of honor, Dr. Sikutua, and then we have our former Vice Chancellor, who will be inaugurated today as Chancellor, Professor Singela. May I ask you to remain standing as we sing the Zambian National Anthem. Stand and sing of Zambia, proud and free, land of work and joy in unity. Victors in the struggle for the right, we won freedom's fight. Oh, I'm strong and free. Africa is Africa is a land fashioned with and blessed by God's good hands. Let us all our people join as one Brothers under the sun Oh, one strong and free One man, one nation is our cry Dignity and peace is on your sky Thank you so much. Allow me to invite Ms. Stella Wezi Mwanza, our marketing manager, to come and lead us in prayer. Greetings. Let us pray. Good and loving God, we thank you for the completion of another academic calendar for UNICAF Zambia and for giving us the opportunity short, though it may have been to play a part in the lives of our students and our new graduates. We are grateful for your guidance and love as we shared in this important work. Let us unite our hearts in prayer and entrust to the hands of the Lord those who are graduating today. 
Please bless our, and guide our graduates as they reach this end and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned by being here with us allow them to truly be women and men for others. May what we have learned from them enable us to be the same. Please help them to use all that they've learned here to make the world a better place, to save others in true solidarity and kingship, to seek ways to help the poor, the marginalized, and those who are suffering, and to always seek the greater good. We know that some of them will experience pain and hardship, and we know that some of them already have. We ask you to grant them solace and strength. Finally, may God who began the good work in you carry it through the completion, enabling you to use your talents to the fullest. Father, we know that they'll always be with us as part of the Unica family. We ask that the bonds they have created, that have been created here, remain strong despite any distance. We ask all this in your name, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may sit. Thank you so much. UNICAF University Zambia is a new institution. It was established in 2017. We are very happy to present to you our first over 190 students who are graduating today from different countries. Before we proceed with the graduation ceremony, we will have the inauguration of the university's chancellor, Professor Mpanzi Sinjela. We are so grateful to have Professor Sinjela as our chancellor. With his international career, numerous achievements, and his important contribution to the academia, we can only expect the best. It is my honor and privilege to invite the vice chancellor, Dr. Christine Pirimshiwe, to speak about the professor and inaugurate the first chancellor of our university, who will then present his inaugural statement. Dr. Mshiwe, please. Uh, greetings. Uh, the Honorable Guests of Honor, Dr. Brian Mushimba, our Minister of Higher Education, our special guest, Dr. Lawrence Sukutwa, Chairman of LOSA Group, University, UNICAF University Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Nikos Nicolau, mm -hmm. Vice Chancellor Federal of UNICAF University, Dr. Kelvin Andrews, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Dr. Joseph Musonda, Senior Management and Staff of UNICAF University, Zambia. All graduates, ladies and gentlemen, today is a very special day for UNICAF University. I am honored as Vice Chancellor to see the university graduate its first graduates. Not only that, but also to witness the inauguration of its very first Chancellor too. What an honor. Choosing a Chancellor for a university of this nature is not an easy process. There are a number of things that need to be taken into consideration. Who is this individual? What is his character? His achievements? and contribution in and to society. Fortunately, one such an individual made it so easy for the university. His integrity in the community, his accomplishments, and his character stood out. A man with a heart for this university. This is none other than Professor Mpanzi Sinjela. This is the man that has been chosen. He is a holder of a Doctor of Law and Master of Law degrees from Yale Law School USA, and Bachelor of Law degree from University of Zambia. Professor Singela has served in various capacities at the international and national level, among others. The first Vice Chancellor of UNICAF University, Zambia, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Dean and Professor of Law, University of Lusaka, Zambia, Visiting Professor at Rao Warrenberg Institute, University of Lund, Sweden, Visiting Professor, University of Turin, Italy. Dean and Professor of Intellectual Property Law, Whipple Worldwide Academy, Geneva, Switzerland. 
Senior Legal Officer at United Nations, New York. He is the current chairperson at PACRA, Zambia. Professor Singela has published in various uh, fields, including intellectual property law, international law, and human rights law. He has participated also in drafting of various international conventions, including the Rome Institute, a Statute of the Establishment of International Criminal Court, the Law of the Sea of Convention, and has also participated in the settlement of various international disputes, among other things, the Bakasi Peninsula between Nigeria and Cameroon, Namibia independence, and the settlement of the civil war in Angola. Professor Singela has also taken part in providing legal advice in the drafting of the Constitution of Zambia. Professor Singela, on behalf of the members of staff of UNICAF University and GU Federal, and by the power vested in me by the University Council, I now inaugurate you as Chancellor of UNICAF University. Ladies and gentlemen, the first Chancellor of UNICAF University, Dr. Pazi. Singela. Now take an opportunity on the, of inviting uh, our very first Chancellor, Professor Pazi Singela, to come and uh, officially open the ceremony. Professor. By the powers vested in me, I declare the first graduation ceremony of UNICAF University Zambia officially open. Thank you so much. At this point, I would like to call upon our Vice Chancellor, Dr. Mshiwe, to come to the podium to give us her address. Dr. Mshiwe. Thank you very much. May I recognize the presence of our honorable guest of honor, Dr. Brian Mushimba, the Minister of Higher Education. May I also recognize our very own Chancellor, Dr. Professor Pazi Singela. Our special guest of honor, Dr. Lawrence Sukutwa, the chairman of LOSA Group. UNICAF University Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Nikos Nikolaou. Vice Chancellor, UNICAF University Federal, Dr. Kelvin Andrews. Senior Management and Staff of UNICAF University, Zambia. All graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this momentous face graduation ceremony of UNICAF University, Zambia. Esteemed graduates, finally you are here, and all the sheer excitement of achievement 
all graduates go through that. It is a normal feeling. I know what you, are, you all, or most of you are expecting. A better life, recognition, promotion, a very good job, a better pay, a good man or woman to marry now. Yes, and the list is endless. It is normal. Achievement precedes hard work. It is a process whose hallmark includes dreaming big, failing hard, trying hard, believing, and at times doubting yourself. That takes character. You know, character is the major component of human personality. It is a combination of your attitudes, beliefs, and values. Others have gone on to say character refers to trust, integrity, and outlook. It is an important and critical part in growing your personality and professionalism. Character is your root of advancement. It is your roadmap that will define who you will be, your growth, your prosperity, and expansion. Character speaks about your self-worth and uprightness. Character is doing what is right. What you have done by getting this qualification is the right thing. But what we do not, but we do not end at the acquisition of the paper. You do not end at acquiring a paper with your name on it and get proud of it. Every university does that. They give out qualifications at the end of your studies. However, as UNICAF University, we have offered you insights, knowledge, skill, and experiences to develop a strong character to grow your personality and professionalism. As you graduate today from our prestigious university, I want you to reflect mostly on your character, that distinguishing feature of you as an individual, not so much on the degree and what it will make you turn out to be. Many have done that, and their character has destroyed their achievements. And even the reputation of the education establishment has been tarnished. History records how men and women of honor have traded their good character for a little pleasure. Titles, powers, qualifications, high positions, you can name it. They are good, and we love them. I love being called doctor. I'm sure professor loves to be called professor. But without a good character, they are nothing. Your country need genuine individuals who take what they have and do the right thing. Many people have destroyed what they have worked hard for by letting down their guard due to compromise, corruption, fraud, sex, plagiarism, and the list can be long. UNICAF University gave you an opportunity to learn from internationally qualified tutors, an opportunity to interact and network with fellow students, professionals in 156 countries, and to learn through the current most sought after mode of learning, e-learning, via the cutting edge online digital platform, which hosts the user-friendly virtual learning environment a 24-7 access to study materials, an expansive e-library and communication forums to meet and discuss with tutors and fellow students from across the globe. You see, the unique character of UNICAF University has stood its test during the pandemic period. While other universities were desperately seeking alternative ways of teaching and learning, we stood and continue to stand the taste of time. We continue to save our students without any disruptions, proving to the world that online learning is the right mode of delivery and is the future of education. As students, you can attest to that because you continued your studies, and despite the lockdowns and other measures to contain COVID-19, you were able to continue with your studies. Now you are graduating, and congratulations. That is the kind of unique character we want you to image with, a solid character 
that stands the taste of time. A character that will give you a sought after personality. A character that will push you to invent, innovate, and develop new and authentic ideas. A character compatible with genuine and effective leaders in different sectors of life. So I will not say so many congratulations to you. You have already heard it, and you will continue hearing it from a lot of people today. My question to you as you graduate is, now what? What will you stand for? And what will you be known for? Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Mshiwe, for those wise words. We are so grateful for encouraging our graduates to develop a strong character. Thank you so much. We will now hear the speech of UNICAF University Vice Chancellor Fedro, Dr. Kevin Andrews, who joins us from the UNICAF organization headquarters in Cyprus. May I acknowledge the presence of Professor Banzi Sinjela and congratulate him on his inauguration and installation as our university's chancellor. I also celebrate the presence of the vice-chancellor, Dr. Christine Moshibwe, and also the deputy vice-chancellor, Dr. Joseph Musonda. Distinguished and honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, and soon to be graduates of 2020, it is my pleasure to be here in this virtual ceremony and to offer my sincerest congratulations to all of you graduating students today who will have their awards conferred on them. All your hard work and the sacrifices and the support of family, friends and sponsors will result in your transformation into graduates as your various awards are bestowed upon you. The UNICAF University Network, of which the Lusaka campus is a part, has a central mission of educational excellence. That network continues to expand as we add more centres across Africa. It is a great source of institutional pride that we are able to celebrate today the innovation, diversity, multiculturalism and the achievements of our broader academic community that comprises participants from 156 nationalities and within our ever-growing community of learners. Tertiary and higher education plays a vital role in fostering global awareness, in promoting democratic values such as critical questioning, understanding complexity, embracing tolerance and promoting empathy. The value of higher education to society cannot, in my view, be overestimated. The focus here at today's ceremony for many of you are the degree certificates that signal success, but they are not the output you are. Certificates, diplomas and awards are not passports to earning more or having more, but keys to being more. Through your time with us at UNICAF University, we hope that you recognise that your education has changed you and that you will go into the global society and play your role to live up to the responsibility of all educated persons, and that is to strive wherever we can to contribute more to the societies in which we live. That contribution has never been more important as we face up to the enormous and continuing challenges of the ongoing pandemic and look forward to the process of rebuilding the post-pandemic world, threatened as it is by ongoing environmental and climatic challenges. I take the opportunity of addressing you all today to announce that UNICAF University at the federal level has recently published its own response to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, selecting five important elements to focus its efforts on to build a better future for ourselves and our children. I will be working with the senior colleagues across the UNICAF University Network to realise that contribution. These include ongoing provision of quality education, fostering decent work opportunities and economic growth, and in so doing, working to reduce inequalities. 
We have, as an institution, committed to responsible consumption and production in all that we do, and in working in partnership with national and international organisations to advance the Sustainable Development Goals. I'm also delighted to announce that one of our extended UNICAF family, Professor Niovani Madis, who is the chairperson of the UNICAF University Advisory Board, has been appointed by the Secretary General of the United Nations as a co-author of the 2023 Global Sustainable Development Goals Report. Professor Madis will be a part of a team of 15 element scientists selected from the world's leading research institutes and universities to lead research and strengthen the capacity of policymakers to accelerate the achievements of the Sustainable Development Goals in Africa. Dear graduates, I expect all of you will have a mixture of emotions today. Most of you would admit to feeling some pride, elation and perhaps relief at reaching your goals and perhaps a touch of sadness and fear too of the unknown as you prepare to face up to the challenges ahead. You have much to be proud of and the pride you feel today should extend to others in the virtual audience for you have been supported by parents, friends, partners and family. Another group was also instrumental to your success, the faculty and staff at UNICAF University. We congratulate each and every one of you and share the joy of your friends, family and supporters at your success. We trust that your time spent with us will allow you to enjoy bright futures, as well as the warmth and understanding of the true friendships that we hope you have established while studying with us. Remember too that you are part of the UNICAF family as alumni and we expect and hope that you will continue to share your success stories with us and continue your valuable contribution to the wider vision and mission of your university. Good luck and keep safe. Thank you so much, Dr. Kevin Andrews, for the message. It is a privilege for me to invite the UNICAF University Chancellor, Professor Panzi Singela, for his speech. Professor Singela. The Honorable Guest of Honor, Dr. Brian Mushimba, Minister of Higher Education of the Government of Zambia. Our special guest, Dr. Lawrence Kutwa, Chairman of the LSA Group of Companies. UNICAF University Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Nikos Nikolaou, Vice Chancellor, University, UNICAF University Federal, Dr. Kevin Andrews, Vice Chancellor of UNICAF University Zambia, Dr. Christine Piri Mushiwe, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, UNICAF University Zambia, Dr. Joseph Musonda. Senior management and staff of UNICAF University Zambia, all graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I would like, first of all, to turn to you, esteemed graduates. This is an important day for you, your families, the countries you hail from, and indeed, the world at large. This graduation is a celebration of all the hard work that has led to your milestone achievement. And we at UNICAF University are thrilled to celebrate this important day with you. A journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, as the saying goes. 
this momentous occasion would not have been possible without the commendable work of numerous people, both within and outside this institution, starting with the vision of one man, the Chief Executive Officer of UNICAF University, Dr. Nikos Nikolaou. The fruits of our combined labors have culminated in this well-deserved celebration, which is the historic first graduation for UNICAF University in Zambia. I take my hat off to you, the graduates, for your endurance and dedication. As President Mandela so aptly put it, it always seems impossible until it's done. As we celebrate your achievements today, I am sure that each one of you has an important question in your mind. How do I best make use of the knowledge and skills acquired during my studies? Or better still, how will this new qualification enhance my professional and personal development? While such questions have no universal answers, let me make some little advice for you. In our profession, in our professional and personal quests, we would always strive to apply and follow what we have been taught. Use this, use this newly acquired knowledge to contribute towards the advancement of your countries and the improvement of the quality of life of your fellow citizens. Education is without any doubt, one of the most important factors that influences personal and national development. Research clearly shows that the greater the number of educated people in a country, the greater the level of national development. The reverse is ever so true the lower the access to quality education, the less developed a country is bound to be. Your graduation today marks the beginning of a promise, a promising new future. Doing your part by applying your newly acquired knowledge correctly and consistently, you will not only help to accelerate the development process in your country, but you can also make a difference which may continue to benefit generations in the future. I wish to pay tribute to UNICAF University, which, as has been said by the Vice Chancellor. I had the privilege and indeed honor to serve as its first Vice Chancellor in Zambia. For the role that UNICAF University is playing globally, and indeed, more particularly, at the continental level, this university has brought higher education to our doorstep through its virtual learning method. Without UNICAF, it is not possible, it would not have been possible for you, the graduates, to achieve your, co your goals. UNICAF University is making it possible for everyone, regardless of location or indeed financial situation, 
to access international quality higher education online. At an affordable cost through the UNICAF scholarship, and indeed to continue to develop our continents. I call, up, I call upon you all not to be complacent, believing that you have reached the pinnacle of your educational journey today. I urge you to continue to study throughout your life. Remain curious about our world. Learn more. Remain informed about developments within your field and indeed outside your field. This, in my view, will help not only develop yourselves, but also develop your countries. Most importantly, aspire to attain the highest level of education that you can. It will increase your self-confidence and esteem. It will increase also your ability to compete, not only at the national level, but at the global workplace. Let me conclude my remarks by warmly congratulating you for your milestone achievement. If we did not have the restrictions imposed upon us by COVID-19 pandemic, we would be celebrating your graduation in a big way. But please know that you have made your families, your friends, your country, and indeed, most of all, UNICAF University, proud with your achievements. Congratulations to you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Sinjera, for appreciating the resilience and the perseverance of our graduates. It really takes a lot of dedication and devotion for someone to make it through to graduation. Thank you also for the wonderful message to our graduates to go out there and work to improve the quality of life of their communities as well as that of their countries. It is now time to hear our inspirational guest of honor, Dr. Rollins Sikutwa to come and give us his address. I'm so sure that his message is very inspirational and it will help the graduates to forge their way through. Dr. Sikutwa. Guest of Honor, Honorable Dr. Bran Mushimba, MP, and Minister of Higher Education. The Chancellor, Professor Mpanzi Sinjela, UNICAF University Chief Executive Officer, Nikos Nicolaou, the Vice Chancellor, UNICAF University Federal, Dr. Kelvin Andrews, Vice Chancellor, UNICAF University Zambia, Dr. Christine Piri Mushibwe, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, 
Dr. Joseph Musonda, Senior Management and Staff at UNICAF University, Zambia, or graduates, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, congratulations for uh, graduating. But what does one do to inspire graduates like yourselves? What does one say? I want to confess that it is not easy for me to stand here today and say something that will inspire you. But I hope I can. And so I'll do my best to share a few words with you that I think will resonate well in your minds and hopefully awaken that sleeping giant in you that could be the change the world is waiting for. For those who choose to be employed, armed with your newly acquired qualifications, your newly acquired knowledge, you will probably go hunting, job hunting, because you would have chosen to go to be employed. Don't, if you choose to do that, forget that you are a change maker. Because in employment, there is such a thing in organizations as corporate entrepreneurship. For those of you who will be venturing into self-employment, please know that to succeed, you will have to, one, take account of your motivations, for without self-esteem, your enterprise will have no direction. Also, a motivated person understands the risks of doing business better. Two, assess your abilities. And whilst the qualification that has given you knowledge, the qualification that you have received today represents a very important ability in you, you should not forget that natural talent or talents that are in you. Three, have at least one good idea on which to start your business. So be curious, as Professor Singela has just said. Also, as noted by Thomas Hobbes, the 17th century philosopher, curiosity is the last of mind. But remember that curiosity killed the cat only because it was meddling in other people's affairs. So what I can tell you is that there will be many people who will be curious about your success, whether at work or in business. Some will be generally interested to learn from your success, whilst others will be jealous, envious, and destructive. This is not what they teach you in business school. These are the facts of business life. Whatever the case is, never give up. And whatever the idea, make sure that it has a market. And four, to start a business, you will need resources. The number one resource is your brain. And today, we are witnessing that your brain has become very fertile, having received your excellent qualification from UNICAF. Other resources will include money and some non-financial resources, but please don't rush to borrow, or else you will soon be sorry. You could as well start with a few resources contributed from friends and relatives. 
And if you were listening carefully to what I've been saying, motivation, abilities, ideas, and resources combined could in fact form a topic in entrepreneurship for a thesis at UNICAF. Think about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, as an entrepreneur, allow your, man, your mind to run wild a little to imagine the impossible as people like Steve Jobs did. Imagination allows you to see the possibilities and potentialities around you. Look at how young people in China are driving technology. How about you? What will you be known for? What will be your achievement or achievements? I advise you to take the opportunities which you see very early before the wind, window of opportunity closes. And so know and understand the times you are in as best you can. Entrepreneurs are drivers of change. They are original thinkers. They are innovators. They are creators of new products and services. They are drivers of economic development. And they are providers of employment. You're one of them. So congratulations to all of you. Dream big, dream right, start small, and turn your dream into reality. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Skutwa, for that inspirational message. I'm sure you have revived and revamped so many talents and ideas that have been sleeping. I'm sure our students will be so eager to work on theirs. Thank you so much. We are extremely grateful and honored at this point to invite the Vice Chancellor to invite our guest of honor, who is a high-ranking government official. Dr. Mshiba, please. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Masters of Ceremony. I now have the pleasure of um, inviting our guest of honor, his honorable Minister of Higher Education, Dr. Brian Mushimba. Dr. Brian Mushimba will be joining us from his office at Ministry of Higher Education. I thank you very much. The Chancellor, Professor Mpanzi Sinjela, the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Christine Mushibwe, the Vice Chancellor at the federal level, Dr. Kevin Andrews, Senior Government Officials, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Dr. Justin Msonda, University Members of Staff, the graduates, Distinguished Invited Guests, Members of the Press, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a rare honor and privilege to be in your midst today and officiate at this first ever UNICAF graduation ceremony. An occasion such as this one brings much joy and celebration to my ministry, to the university, and indeed to the graduates. We witness the first cohort of graduates from the UNICAF, which is a major milestone in the life of the university. Mr. Chancellor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Before I go any further, I'm informed that the proprietors of this university have made significant investment and contributions in improving service delivery of the university. 
This is indeed commendable and demonstrates the fact that um, private sector participation in the sector is key in enhancing access to higher education by many eligible Zambians. You may wish to note that um, His Excellency the President, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu, has on several occasions reiterated his vision of not wanting to leave anyone behind in the area of higher education in the country. Hence, the opening up of the sector to private sector participants. And to this effect, as a ministry, we expect all private players in the sector to work closely with the Higher Education Authority and the Zambia Qualifications Authority to ensure that quality is not compromised in the provision of higher education across the private uh, players that have joined the sector. Mr. Chancellor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this year, 2020, was a very challenging one to all of us. It brought with many turbulences and challenges in all spheres of human endeavor within and outside the country. The education sector was equally not spared as institutions of higher learning had to close in March to allow government to respond to the COVID pandemic that had come into the country. In this regard, alternative modes of learning were encouraged and deployed in many institutions in order to ensure continuity of learning. Mr. Chancellor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm reliably informed that despite the challenges brought about by the pandemic, UNICAF University was unaffected and continued to operate normally because it had a fully developed online platform which enabled the university to continue to offer learning through virtual learning environment. This must be applauded and emulated by all other higher learning institutions. I take cognizance of the fact that higher learning institutions are at different levels of development in terms of online platforms. In this regard, I wish to urge management of UNICAF to open up its doors to those institutions facing challenges with online learning to allow them to learn from you on how you managed to install enough and appropriate ICT infrastructure that helped you continue offering learning without interruptions, even during the COVID pandemic. It should indeed be noted that e-learning is now part of the normal, as it has opened doors to numerous opportunities to our universities. It has widened your scope, and you can reach many students. You can double your enrollments, because students are no longer just confined to the classroom, but the e-learning and the virtual learning, if embraced as the new normal, will certainly support your progression and your increasing of the enrollment so that we mop up all the students that are eligible for higher learning, higher learning opportunities and that want to pursue higher learning and become more productive citizens of the country. I therefore wish to challenge your institutions of higher learning that as much as we, are, we embrace e-learning, we should not lose our guard by ensuring the uncompromised quality of education is being provided and the integrity of the assessments and examinations are held uh, to, their, to their proper standards. Mr. Chancellor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
It is also essential that all higher learning institutions prioritize research and innovation in order to contribute effectively to Zambia's socioeconomic development. Universities should work, should work hard towards finding solutions to the numerous local challenges that we face that require local solutions. Holding color graduation ceremonies by themselves is not good enough, but can only be meaningful when such graduates are able to have an impact in the lives of the ordinary citizens and the country as a whole. I wish to urge UNICAF University management to make a difference in the higher learning sector by creating unique graduates who will be innovative and able to create opportunities and think outside the box. Such are graduates needed to add value to themselves, to their workplaces, and the society that they live in. Mr. Chancellor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me now address the graduates. Congratulations, congratulations on your well-deserved graduation and being pioneers of UNICAF University. Your journey was not easy, I know, but you persevered. Hence, you must look back and appreciate your parents, guardians, employers, well-wishers, lecturers, and many others who stood by your side and supported you in this fulfilling journey. And you have now the fruits to show for it today as you graduate. As you graduate today, you should all come together and form a UNICAF alumni, where all of you must make meaningful contributions to the future development and well-being of UNICAF University and the country as a whole. You came to UNICAF to learn. You've acquired skills. And now go out there and serve your country and make meaningful contribution to the socioeconomic development of the country. May the almighty God bless you and thank you all for your attention. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you so much, Honorable Minister of Higher Education, Dr. Brian Mishimba, for joining us from your office. We are so grateful that you could be with us. You have highlighted a number of issues. Among them, appreciation of online learning. While other universities were forced to shut down and put their students' studies on hold during the pandemic, we at UNICAF University Zambia continued to operate normally by switching all our courses to online delivery and helping students to complete their degrees as scheduled. Online learning is very useful for working professionals, people living in remote areas, and people with physical disabilities. Everyone who wishes to earn higher education, they can easily do so through online learning. As pioneers of online learning in Zambia, UNICAF University pursues excellence in teaching. We as UNICAF University, we are accredited by international organizations such as the British Accreditation Council based in the UK. We are also accredited by the Higher Education Authority of Zambia and several other higher education authorities across the continent and across the world. And the best people to validate the claims are our very own students. That's why at this point, I would like to invite our student, Nelson Tembo, who is representing all the graduating students here in Zambia. Mr. Tembo, sir, may you come to the podium?
Thank you very much, Master of Ceremony. Dear Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, and other dignitaries gracing today's ceremony with their presence, fellow students watching the ceremony online, on this proud and joyous moment of our graduation with UNICAF University in Zambia, I wish to share my feelings of gratitude for the opportunity given to earn an internationally recognized master's degree at an affordable cost. Thanks to the generous UNICAF scholarship I was awarded and be able to study online in my free time and without putting my career on hold. My, my, my online learning experience with UNICAF University has been far more interesting and exciting than physically attending classes on campus. And it was God sent during this pandemic we were able to proceed with our online studies normally while a university student in Africa had to pause because of lockdowns and other measures enforced to protect public health. Online learning was busier because I needed to balance work and studies. I had to learn to manage my time efficiently in order to meet deadlines for both at work and also in my studies. I also, find, I also found that uh, leading uh, fellow students' essays, assignments, and giving feedback was an additional learning tool. It was amazing how efficiently students and tutors interacted on the virtual learning environment to exchange ideas and knowledge. Studying online with UNICAF University helped me expand in research schools, improve on my communication and leadership skills, and also it changed the way I now view the world. Online learning helped me become more self-motivated as I planned my studies around other commitments. I also managed to save on transport, accommodations, food, books, and other related costs I would have paid if I had to travel to study abroad. Online learning gave me an opportunity to network with students across the globe and have a regular meaningful interactions with my tutors. However, the greatest benefit of online learning for me has been working on my studies from the comfort of my home in my free time and continuing to work and receive my salary. With master's degree, I have earned, which is locally accredited by the Higher Education Authority of Zambia, while the university is also internationally accredited by the British Accreditation Council in the UK, I, I believe that I will increase my earnings by being promoted to the higher positions or finding better jobs. I now have self-confidence in dealing with family and work issues and feel secure knowing that I will always be able to find work position and enjoy a comfortable life. As a result of my master's studies, I feel prepared for global job market and be able to handle tasks 
that are not directly linked to my field of study. The master's degrees has improved my self-discipline and strengthened my personality, making me more capable and efficient in the professional arena. For all of these reasons, I once again wish to express my thanks to UNICAF University for the generous scholarship and the higher standard of tuition provided to me and my fellow students through flexible online learning. To my fellow students, I say let's prove the higher quality of our studies in the workplace. It is our moment now to shine. Congratulations to us and all oh, God bless us always. Thank you so much, Mr. Tembo, for mentioning a number of very important issues regarding online learning, like the need for self-discipline and good time management. UNICAF University provides knowledge and skills and prepares its graduates for dynamic careers. We will now hear one of our international students speak about her journey with UNICAF University. Safiatu Dabo sends us a video recorded message from her homeland in Ghana. Safiatu. Good morning to you all, UNICAF University officials, faculty, family, and fellow graduates. It is indeed an honor to present the international student valedictorian speech for this historic graduation of the first cohort of students from UNICAF University in Zambia. For most of us, especially full-time parents, this is indeed a dream come true. The whole process, as a process started as a thought. We led to the belief that with UNICAF, we could do it, culminating in today's celebrations of the achievement of our dreams. Dear fellow graduates, this is indeed a major milestone that we have achieved in our careers and in our lives. We have demonstrated resilience, commitment, discipline, and great time management skills. We should be proud of ourselves. I am sure we have all learned a lot while completing our courses through studying, research, discussing our work with our fellow students and with our very helpful tutors. you using the virtual learning environment on the UNICAF digital platform. I am sure we are all ex as excited as I am to have reached our goals. Our future now obviously looks brighter than when we started. Wherever our future takes us, I am sure the skills and expertise acquired during our postgraduate study will propel us all to higher heights. Life is a journey of growth and the only constant is change. This degree will undoubtedly serve as a propellant for growth and open greater career opportunities for us all. The journey, however, has not always been easy, but the challenges we face turned out to be stepping stones. Online learning can be merged with challenges of internet connectivity, electricity supply, and the need for updated computer hardware and software, which may not always be readily available to us in Sub-Saharan Africa. However, we did manage to overcome these challenges through support from the, UNICAF, from the university and helpful tutors. On behalf of my fellow graduates, therefore, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to our phenomenal tutors for the support and understanding they showed us, ensuring that we could gain the maximum knowledge and benefit from every module they taught us. The expertise and in-depth knowledge gained, particularly while working on our dissertation, was great exercise in independent work. It was both exciting and daunting. For me personally as a healthcare personnel, improving healthcare provision and management in my country remains a major professional goal. I am pretty sure that my fellow graduates have similar goals in their respective professional fields. Therefore, as we launch out into the world as master's degree holders, let us be the change that we want to see in the world. Let us believe that anything is possible if we set our hearts and minds to it. There are no limits to what we can achieve, except the ones that we put on ourselves. Now remember, energy grows where attention flows. 
Let us celebrate our achievements today with our loved ones. And let us do more to make our world a better place. And remember, the sky is just the beginning. Thank you. Thank you so much, Safiato, for your kind words and for participating in today's graduation as the representative of all our international students graduating today. Thank you. And finally, the big moment all graduates have been waiting for has arrived. I know that everyone watching, graduates, families, and friends are waiting eagerly to hear the, their names, the names of their loved ones being called out for presentation to the chancellor and for confirmment of degrees. We are all very excited about the great achievements of our graduates, which we want to celebrate today. It has not been an easy road, but they have worked hard and persevered, and they have made it. I now invite Dr. Atridge Muero, our acting dean, academics, to join me on stage and present the graduates to the chancellor for the confirmation of degrees. Dr. Muero. Our first category is the Master of Laws, and the following are the candidates. Bibiana Kapika Lambert, Credit, Zambia. Mariam Ishak Ahmad, Nigeria. Mwansa Matthews Mushiwe, Credit, Zambia. Paul Mondoa Ngomba, Credit, Switzerland. Our next category is Masters in Education, and the following are the students. Abe Kotu Kekula, Credit, Liberia. Caroline Tsepile Ralel, Credit, South Africa. Chinozoita Memory Latwayo, Merit, South Africa. Christine Mijide Amadi, Credit, Kenya. Daniel Mulei Kitia, Merit, Botswana. Emma Banda, Credit, Zambia. George Ousu Dapa, Credit, Thailand. Gaudahan Nelieva, Credit, Cambodia. Hanan David Abu Basutu, Credit, Botswana. Kubra Kiuchi, Credit, Ethiopia. Mafo Hussein Yusuf, Credit, Ghana. Mohammed Imran Osman, Merit, South Africa. Rangarirai Dube, Credit, Zimbabwe. Raquel Antoinette Anne Marie Banton Salmon, Credit, Jamaica. Sililo Chantel Tukuta, Credit, South Africa. Yusuf No Yunis, Credit, Kenya. Our next category is the Master of Business Administration. And the following are the candidates. Abdul Kwadia Ramani, Credit, Afghanistan. Abdullahi Fula, Credit, Sierra Leone. Akwesi Asenso Kodua, Credit, South Africa, Alobwede Nesang Janet, Credit, Cameroon, Alumai Ronald Teriga, South Sudan, Amadine Erin Mwing Bobo, Credit, Nigeria, Amanda Lynette Schroeder, Credit, Namibia, Andrew Shumba, Credit, Zambia. Anne Osuamen Iriabe, Nigeria. Onsumana Dabor, Credit, Gambia. 
Baha Abdulaman Hassan Al Jamo, Iraq. Bakan Bolel, Credit, Botswana. Beatrice Zembere Kuntembe, Malawi. Bernard Piri, Credit, Zambia. Blessing Adafioka, Credit, Nigeria. Celestine Bande, Nyambod, Credit, Cameroon. Chavon Romario Mila, Credit, Jamaica. Chimwemwe Sisia, Credit, Malawi. Christine Nanjala Mauka, Merit, Kenya. Clifford Chilije, Merit, Malawi. Colin Gafaon Pitse, Merit, Botswana. Collins Oyemade Oyedemi, Merit, Nigeria. Daniel Munguti Musioka, Merit, Kenya. Donut Optim Obomanu, Credit, Nigeria. Zingai Shangwa, Credit, Zimbabwe. Ebimiere Sintei, Credit, Nigeria. Ebrima Keita, Credit, Gambia. Idis Tatenda Mandaza, Credit, Zimbabwe. Edwin Paul, Credit, Tanzania. Iken Kasmia Uche, Merit, Nigeria. Elsa Solomon Kidane, Merit, Kenya. Emily Kamizi, Credit, Zamia. Emmanuel Enokela Solomon, Credit, Nigeria. Emmanuel Nana Yo Afeni Saki, Credit, Ghana. Emmanuel Ofosu Antiri, Merit, Ghana. Erastus Kamau Ndungu, Merit, Kenya. Ernest Kapumpe, Credit, Zambia. Ernest Jeff Teti Ajabla Lamte, Credit, Ghana. Faustinus Parata Shindimba, Credit, Namibia. Florence Masai, Merit, Kenya. Frederick Kasaja, Merit, Uganda. Freddy Musuka, Credit, Zimbabwe. Godfred Aseudu Fianco, Credit, Ghana. Guguletu Pumuzile Nyati, Credit, Zimbabwe. Harrison Mwanza, Credit, Zambia. Henok Gide Abdul Kadir, Credit, Ethiopia. Henry Sam Mukasa Kizito, Credit, Uganda. Idris Adedoyin Okuleye, Credit, Nigeria. Isabel Sinkelisiwe Mvubu, Credit, the Kingdom of Iswatini. Jacqueline and Francis Kasambala, Botswana. Jerome Adra, Merit. Ghana, Johnson Agara Olwa, Russian Federation, Joseph Momo Conte, Credit, Sierra Leone, Josephine Limbili, Namibia, Joyce Matau, Credit, Zimbabwe, Kabuswe Bwalia, Credit, Zambia, 
Kudugala James Mafula Aniseto Credit South Sudan Cloud Kobe Towo Credit Ghana Lawrence Omamoke Osapoku Merit Nigeria Lemiton Ngwira Credit Malawi Leona Christian Kabenge Nalunga Merit Uganda Leonard Terence Piri Credit Malawi Letho Gonolo Ramatu Credit Botswana Linia Munenguni Credit Namibia Lucas Gamboa Alfrente Merit Mozambique Malompo Teleso Lonteng Merit Lesotho Mark Anthony Creswell Credit Uganda Marori Sang Mary Makanya Credit Lesotho Matavo Alice Nosi Credit Lesotho Matthews Banda Credit Zambia Mbachi Nundwe Merit Zambia Mike Nkoko Credit Malawi Millicent Giau Merit Ghana Moses Chimkola Credit Malawi Mpodi Susan Manaka Merit South Africa Muhammad Ifan Guda Sahib Merit Mauritius Mulenga Chanda Credit Zambia Muna Himbala Munangandu Merit Zambia Muzanalu Muzala Maseka Credit Zambia Nalisha Rampasad Credit Trinidad and Tobago Nana Kwasi Sapong Merit Ghana Neliso Lydia Nabatsi Merit The Kingdom of Eswatini Nelson Tembo Merit Zambia Nikeisha Kalota Hibet Credit Jamaica Nkosana Prince Duwe Credit South Africa Nkwenti Valentine Musi Credit Cameroon Nsako Happy Baloy South Africa Nuhu Kamale Haman Merit Nigeria Olufemi Joseph Popola Credit Nigeria Olumide Akinyemi Oyeniran Credit Nigeria Luwa Damilola Onaolapo Martins Merit Nigeria Oluwasegan Samson Odako Credit Nigeria Pasco Osinde Osudo Jabe Merit Uganda Patrick Anin Kufo Credit Ghana Patrick Ni Saki Merit Ghana Penlop Biela Kalema Credit Zambia Ayas Musonda Kawesha Credit Zambia Prince Isaac Oche Merit Nigeria Rebecca Alfred Adaji Credit Nigeria Robert 
Gobi Kitenda Credit Uganda Rupendra Padarus Merit Mauritius Samonsha Kimberly White Miller Merit Jamaica Sanelisiwe Ruth Mamba Credit The Kingdom of Eswatini Seth Noel Vozogbe Credit Ghana Sherina Sivanda Credit Zimbabwe Sivongile Mukwaira Credit Zimbabwe Sipiwe Matendele Credit Botswana Sotonye Smart George Credit Nigeria Sunday James Ada Nigeria Sylvester Musandipa Merit Zimbabwe Simon Kachitsa Credit Malawi Tabo Gumpo Credit Botswana Tandokazi Pel Zozi Credit South Africa Tasiani Simwaka Credit Malawi Tulo Koto Monyati Merit Lesotho Tinotenda Kalisto Mupunga Merit Zimbabwe Sepo Sakoma Merit Botswana Veronica Srileta Mosele Cox Credit Barbados Victor Freeman Zirebwa Merit Botswana Wallace Chikukutu Merit Botswana Winnie Dalo Soko Credit Malawi Yusuf Olatunji Salau Credit Nigeria Our next category is the Master of Public Administration and the following are the candidates Barbara Nyarai Mbazangi Merit Zimbabwe Blessing Joyce Adelsan Credit Nigeria Bokaib Haruchi Merit Morocco Dorothy Heman Mensa Merit Ethiopia Adam Kwame Amor Merit Ghana Eureka Uloji Ndlovu Merit Namibia Harrison Musonda Wapela Merit Zambia Jonathan Osamiemen Ekato Merit Nigeria Kakoma Musangu Credit Zambia Lila Hari Bono Godfrey Malebanye Credit Lesotho Lucinda Achayo Kangwana Merit Kenya Mohammad Adan Hussein Credit Somalia Ohense Charles Moyeti Credit South Africa Oluwafanbi Jumoke Fadidi Credit Nigeria Priscilla Chitalu Chama Merit Zambia Tamari Magaisa Merit South Africa Trezia Vatileni Credit Namibia Our next category is Master of Science in Healthcare Management and the following are the candidates Abdul Latif Adam Merit Ghana Alfred Eddings Mwanyimbo Credit Malawi Atupele Bennett Mwanyongo Credit Malawi Audrey Tendai Mari Mira Credit Zimbabwe Celestin Ukubile Eche Credit Nigeria Chino 
Nyelam, Pauline, Iweb Bulam, Chimaobi, Credit, Nigeria, Christopher Adinoi, Isa, Merit, Nigeria, Cleopatra Molekodi, Yvonne Mwatodi, Credit, Botswana, Dalito Gandali, Merit, Malawi, Elizabeth Bryan, Merit, Papua New Guinea, James Andati Ofula, Merit, Kenya, John Quart Kwani Dean, Credit, South Sudan, Kiplangat Sheriot Peter, Merit, Kenya, Lasana Konde, Mali, Maureen Fuern Fall, Merit, Cameroon, Nakeisha Keneisha Heliga, Merit, St. Kitts and Nevis, Safiatu Dabor, Merit, Gambia, Sharon Stephen, Merit, St. Lucia, Shelly Saki Fan Bule, Merit, Liberia, Stephen Selma Wilfred, Credit, Liberia. Our next category is Master of Science in Managerial Psychology, and the following are the students. Anna Falgensha Moody, Kaliangu, Credit, Namibia. Lamek Nyamosi, Kesawo, Credit, Kenya. Our last category is Master of Science in Web Design and Development. And the following are the candidates. Abdullah Othman Makame, Credit, Tanzania. Christopher Olwa Benga, Edigan, Credit, Germany. Cynthia Omega Ekato, Credit, Nigeria. Diana Seban, Credit, Romania. Horace Anthony Martin, Credit, Tex and Kakos Island. Jonathan Dushimimana, Credit, Rwanda. Kilusu Ole Metasia Leisa, Credit, Tanzania. Osman Kano, Merit, Sierra Leone. Romeo L. Koi, Jr., Credit, Liberia. Shalom Abubakar Stephen, Nigeria. Solomon Aundona Zenda, Credit, Nigeria. Thomas Yisa, Merit, Nigeria. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor and privilege of asking you to confer the master's degrees upon the candidates that I have presented to you. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer the master's degrees individually and severally upon these candidates who have been presented to me. Thank you, Dr. Moelo and Professor Singela. We send our warmest congratulations to each and every one of our graduates. 
We look forward to learning more about their future achievements in their diverse careers and their different countries. We now have the presentation of the award to the best performing student. I invite the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Mshiwe, to present the award to a representative of the student, Dr. Mshiwe. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we've come to the end of the ceremony, and this is one of the best times to recognize one of our outstanding students. And the outstanding student for 2020 is Emmanuel Ofosu Antini from Ghana. I'm going to ask Mr. Tembo, who is a student representative, to come and receive the award on behalf of Emmanuel. Mr. Tembo, please. Please allow me to personally congratulate Emmanuel Ofunsu from Ghana to have the best perform performance requires a lot of hard work, real devotion and dedication in order to attain the goal. So well done, Emmanuel. The historic first graduation ceremony of UNICAF University Zambia ends here. We express our gratitude to His Excellency, the Honorable Minister of Higher Education, Dr. Brian Mshimba, and to our inspirational guest of honor, Dr. Lawrence Sikutwa, for gracing today's proceedings with their presence. We send to our first graduates our warmest congratulations and our best wishes for success in all their future endeavors. And we thank all of you for following today's ceremonial proceedings online or on TV. Let's all take good care of ourselves and others by following all public health protocols and let's keep learning. I now call the Vice Chancellor to the podium to invite the Chancellor for the dissolution of this assembly, Dr. Mshiwe. Thank you very much. May I now request the Chancellor, Doc, uh, Professor Panzi Singela, to come and dissolve this assembly. The Chancellor, please. By virtue of the powers vested in me, I declare the first graduation ceremony of UNICAF University Zambia officially closed. Thank you. Thank you so much. May I now invite the Chancellor's procession to leave? The Chancellor's procession. <laughs> <laughs>